Hi, this is Norbert with GQ Audio. I have a quick tutorial right now focusing on FMOD and Unity integration. This lesson will show you a few things you have to do every time you want to connect FMOD with a new Unity project. Uh, this lesson starts off with a couple assumptions, the first of which is that you have all the software you need. Uh, of course, Unity is essential. Currently, Unity 4.5.3 is the most recent version, which you can get from the Unity website. You also need FMOD, which you can get from their website, FMOD Studio Download, currently version 1.04.06. You'll need FMOD Studio, the authoring tool, and you will also need the FMOD Studio Unity integration package. Download link for that is right here. Download that small file. And once you have those three things, you are ready to go. So let me show you how to get all this up and running. Move back into Unity. And the first thing we have to do is add that integration package to Unity, which is an easy thing to do. We start with the Assets menu, go down to Import Package, and then choose the first item on the, man on the menu, Custom Package. At this point, you can browse to wherever the uh, integration package may be on your computer. You probably downloaded it to your desktop. I put it here inside this folder. Double click it. Unity brings up this window, which lists all the assets that are part of this integration package. You can see it lists all of those as new because we haven't done anything with FMOD in this project yet. I click on import. It takes a while to process and everything will be added to the Unity project. You may just notice that a few things uh, jumped into the project hierarchy here. If we go into plugins, you can see now there's a whole bunch of things related to FMOD and the various platforms that you can deploy to once you've got your FMOD and Unity integration going together. So this is the first part. Um, right now FMOD is available but it hasn't really been tied to our project yet. What we need to do in order to get everything to talk is to add the FMOD listener script to the main camera. This is a good place to add it because the main camera is going to be there throughout your entire game. You need that FMOD listener to be there throughout the entire game as well so it really makes sense to tether these things together. So in your hierarchy, you can highlight main camera, over here in the inspector, you have a bunch of different things for this particular tutorial. And by the way, you can download this file. So if you want to follow along and go through this with me, uh, look in the description below and there'll be a download link for this file. So highlight main camera, go over here to the inspector, click on add component, choose scripts, and right there, second from the top, you see FMOD Listener. Go ahead and select that. You can see now FMOD Listener script is attached to the main camera. If you're curious about where that exists over here in the project hierarchy, here we have the FMOD folder and the FMOD Listener is just sitting right there. It was part of the bundle that came in with the Unity integration package. And once that's there, this project will be all ready to go. Uh, the other thing that you can note now that we've done this is that up here in Unity's menu, there's now an FMOD menu. Uh, import banks, refresh event list, and about integration. Um, about integration just lets you know what version you're using. The other two options are what you'll use every time you need to bring in new assets or you make changes in FMOD and you want to update those in the Unity project. And in the coming tutorials, we will work with all these things and you'll see how to get how to use those menu options in order to develop your game to make tweaks and get it closer and closer to the final project thanks everybody